involved in that kidnapping. Three of them appeared before a judge today. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Deborah Cho. Fox 35's Stephanie Buffmonte joined us live from the Orange County Sheriff's Office tonight. And Stephanie, the details of this case are very disturbing. Deborah, they truly are disturbing. The report describes how the woman was beaten and terrorized as she was locked in that dog cage. She managed to escape. This all happened behind a home in Pine Hill, so she started running around the neighborhood, knocking on doors and windows, begging for someone to help her. That's the knock Tony Stanislaus heard on his back window. His girlfriend saw a woman outside. But when we came out here, there was no sign that anyone ever was back here. But he later learned from deputies the knock was from a woman who had escaped a kidnapping just a few houses away from his Pine Hills home. You were under the impression that she had to have jumped this fence here. Correct. That's yes. a pretty big thing. When you know you're trying to run for your life, you're trying to save your life, you will do whatever you need to do. According to the arrest affidavit, the suspects abducted the woman. Her kidnappers duct taped her hands, feet, and her mouth, and then put her in a dog cage inside the shed behind the house near Barnett Place and Esmeralda Drive. The fact that a human being was treated as, you know, I mean, an animal, especially in this heat, like a movie, you know, Lifetime. It sounds like one of those, one of those movies that someone wrote a script for. This is real life. What are we doing? Deputies say they got a call from another neighbor saying the woman knocked on their door pleading for help because she was being held against her will and just escaped. That sparked a six-hour standoff outside of the home Saturday. Deputies saving the woman and eventually taking the suspects into custody. We saw one person with his hands in zip ties. These are the four people arrested. Monica Reed, Damon Trump, Kevin Holmes, and Cortez Jackson. They're facing several charges, including armed kidnapping, false imprisonment with a weapon, and aggravated battery with a firearm for pistol-whipping the woman. Three of them made a first appearance in court today. Deputies say they kidnapped her because they believed she had information about a stolen item. It's, it's a bit heartbreaking, you know, and it, to know that it's so close, you never know what's going on, you know, but, you know, I, I thank God that she was saved. Deputies say when they found that woman, she had minor injuries. We're still looking to working to learn how she was able to escape those horrific conditions. Reporting live in Orlando, Stephanie.